This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, so I wanted to kind of make this little video, uh, I'll explain a little bit more about it in a bit, but one of the key microphone choices that I'm going to make in this video, I found a little article online comparing an SM57 to a Sennheiser E906 and E609, and this is basically what this video is going to be about. A microphone choice is essentially an EQ choice in the Helix, right? And I think the thing with the 57 is that you've got some spikes around the sort of nine kilohertz area and beyond. Um, the reason that the 906 or 609 or both sound a bit smoother is because the spike is at around five kilohertz and then it's quite well behaved after that. And also there's a little bit of a push in the low mids, uh, according to the graphs at least. So uh, I just wanted to share this with you. I'll show you the whole preset now, but you can grab it on Gumroad in case you want to support in that way. Um, but yeah, and here's a, an idea for what you could do if you've got a crying baby. <laughs> I wanted to share this tone with you quickly because I think it's a really awesome one. Uh, so I'm going to show you all of the, what's going on here. Um, I need to chat out my boy Johnny Welk because this... Uh, gorgeous bloke from Hawaii with the best hair you've ever seen uh, he told me about this particular mic which is I think part of what's making this preset really go off quite nicely so we got three snapshots along the bottom here um, I've got the pillars overdrive here which is basically a tube screamer right the newest one added stock settings I've just set it to the second mode the clipping mode um, 4.7 gain 6.2 tone 2 level Okay, then we're going into the LA Studio Compressor. So this is like a pretty famous bit of rack gear. Um, this again, I think was Johnny's idea, but putting this in front of the amp, whereas a lot of people might put this post amp. I quite like it in front of the amp. Uh, peak reduction at 7.8, gain at 4.4, compressor, and then all of the rest of this is kind of stock settings. Um, that gain at 4.4 is a key thing though, otherwise it will boost your signal loads. <laughs> boosting it a little bit but um, not as much it's just giving it a nice kind of bloom okay then we got the simple delay 150 milliseconds this is a bit of my slap back 16% feedback slapping back like Dana White uh, mix 14% uh, scale at 75 I'm gonna take that off I don't want that do I you can hear we've got that bit of slap back then we're going into the US Deluxe Vibrato. I think we're more or less stock settings, 5.2 drive. So like a little bit of dirt, 
uh, base 5, mids 5.2, treble at 3.9, presence off. Then here's the real key. We've got the US Deluxe with the 906 dynamic. This is, has quite a nice kind of top end, not too bright. Um, that's what I'm liking about it. Position 3.5, uh, 45 degree angle there. And then the other cab, a 906 dynamic, position 7.1 on the Bluebell cab. Kind of a bit of voxy bite to that one. And low cut off, uh, 100 hertz, high cut off. Um, then I'm going into the Vintage Digital, which is kind of like a take on something like an Alesis rack unit. Uh, 800 milliseconds, 45% feedback, 24 bits bit depth, 48k sample rates so are the highest it can do, 19% mix. As you bring these down, it gets a little bit uh, more lo-fi and you get a little bit less uh, stuff going on, as in high-end um, stuff. Rate 0.2, I brought the depth up to about 7.2, scale at 75, so you hear this should go across from right to left. Kind of a ping pong esque style. Headroom I've taken up to plus 12, so we're not clipping it and the trails are on. And then we're going into the dynamic plate. Now, I don't normally use the dynamic plate with this lower decay, but I think you'll agree. It's got quite a nice kind of thing going on. 1.4 second decay, 11.6 kilohertz, so we've got a bit more brightness there than you would normally have. And mix at 25%. You might want to take that down. Um, trails there on. And yeah, I think that's become a, a bit of a secret weapon, that microphone. In the middle, we then turn on all of the bits. So that's a really lovely preset for me, exactly the sort of thing I love, you know, some of that Fender kind of brightness, chiminess, roundness to the tone, but not too bright and loves a Strat, can sort of dig in a little bit to get a little bit of that gain going on. I was really enjoying it and I think the key to making this work, that 906 dynamic microphone and another key maybe, that studio compressor, but give that a try. And maybe if you've got other Fender style amps, maybe consider that mic. I, I don't know if you've tried it before, but it's not as dark as a ribbon mic. Seems quite balanced to me and doing the things that I like. Just lovely. Um, I'll drop this into my Gumroad folder. It's going to be called Super Mike, clearly. And I'll catch you in another video soon. Cheers.